Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of this reading may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and let the rest go. True love is the most powerful magic of all. I know in my heart our love will conquer any storm. Your person knows that the love between the two of you is a very powerful one. And it is magical between the two of you. They felt that way from the minute they first met you. That something magical was happening in their life. It was a love at first sight moment as your souls recognized each other from a past lifetime. And your person knows in their heart, but also in their soul, that the love that you have for each other will conquer any storm and overcome any obstacle, any challenges that come your way. Because the love you have for each other is stronger than anything or any interference that tries to blow it apart. Now, in the past, your person obviously allowed this connection to fall apart between the two of you, or they drove it to that place of falling apart. But moving forward, after the two of you reconcile and start rebuilding your relationship again, they will not allow anything to stand in the way of this relationship. They're not going to want to go through this separation period again in the future. And I'm sure you don't either. Just like you don't. Your person knows that the connection between the two of you is strong enough to survive anything. I just wasn't ready for you. You came into my life like a lightning strike. How interesting. Lightning strike. Storm. And your person wasn't ready for you when they first met you. Like we talked about with this card. It was a love at first sight moment. Your person felt the earth shift under their feet. They felt like they were struck by a bolt of lightning. And their heart burst open. And they knew at that moment that from that point on, their life was going to be different. They knew that things were going to change. They knew that it was time for childish games and other immature behaviors and stuff, whatever that they had been doing in the past in terms of other relationships before you were going to have to be a thing of the past. They knew that they were going to have to grow up in order for this relationship to move forward and they weren't ready for it at the time. But during this time apart, they have grown. They've transformed. They are becoming more emotionally mature and transforming into the partner that you need them to be so that your love will conquer any storm. I now know that I do need you in my life. Your person knows that you are the one for them. They don't like their life without you. They've experienced that during this time that you've been apart. They've had a taste of that and it does not taste good to them. They miss you. They need you. This isn't about them wanting you. It's about, well, they do want you, but it's about them needing you because you complete them. They feel that part of them is missing without you being next to them. These are the things that are going to drive your person to the place of initiating contact with you and start so you can start rebuilding this relationship. I'm ending things with someone else because I only want to be with you. Please only take this card if you know that it resonates for you and your situation, which is why we say that thing in the beginning that not all of the messages that come through will apply to everyone. I am not telling you that your person is seeing someone else. Okay. What this is, is for those of you who are in situations where your person is in a third party situation or a karmic situation that they've been trying to get out of. This tells us your person is going to do that. They're going to end that relationship 
once and for all. Getting rid of the karmic, getting rid of the third party, if you know that they have that situation in their lives. And some of the people that watch this channel do have that situation. Your person is going to get rid of that once and for all and give that complete closure because they know that they need you in their life. They need you, not the karmic, not the third party, okay? What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? It's really hard for me to open up about my true feelings for you. And it has been in the past for your person to share how they feel about you, to be vulnerable with you, to express their love for you, but that won't be the case in the future. Moving forward, they will be able to tell you how they feel about you because they need you in their life and they know that to be in this partnership with you, they're going to have to be vulnerable and emotionally intimate with you. It's part of the reason why they weren't ready for you when the two of you first met, because they weren't ready to be emotionally vulnerable or intimate with anyone. But during the time that you have been apart, they've gained a greater understanding of their emotions and of their feelings for you and know that they need to release whatever past stuff has caused them to not be able to express their feelings. The person that returns will be someone who can be more expressive of their love and share their feelings with you. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? I want to tell you the truth. Your person wants to be honest with you. They want to tell you the truth about so many things, but I feel for most of you, it's because your person wants to tell you they need you in their life, that they know your love will conquer any storm, that they know that they have deep feelings for you and they are ready to share those feelings. Perhaps your person denied this connection in their past because they weren't ready to embrace it, because they weren't ready for you. You blew their world apart when you entered their life. And they had to scramble and try and pull themselves together because they didn't want to lose you, although they weren't ready for the relationship with you at the time. But they're getting ready and they will be honest and truthful with you as you re rebuild this connection. And your person will no longer deny their feelings. They will tell you how they feel and you will know from them and you will be able to trust what they say. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? The day my life changed forever was the day I first saw you. That comes back to that card about the lightning strike. Your person, the day that you first met, they knew that something in their life was going to be forever different. That instant attraction, that rush of energy that opened their heart and they felt the two of you connect on that very deep level just like you did. Love at first sight, soul recognition. This is what your person felt when the two of you first saw each other. And that's something that they've carried with them through this time apart. And it's the thing that's going to cause them to return and start rebuilding this relationship with you. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal today, please. The star. The star is a card of hope. It tells us that your person is healing, releasing what they need to let go of so that they can be fully present with you, so that they can be open about their feelings for you. The star also tells us that your person sees you as an ideal partner for them. They see you as the one for them. The star also tells us there's divine guidance around this connection with you and your person. And the universe is at work. Their angels and guides are at work. Signs and synchronicities coming from them to drive this connection between you and them to the place of reconciliation so that you can come into union. 
What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? This is the Hierophant. The Hierophant tells us that your person sees a future with you. The Hierophant is very much about a traditional relationship, whatever that tradition looks like for you and your person. Perhaps it could be a domestic partnership, getting engaged, and then getting married. Ultimately, this card is about longevity, and it is about commitment. But the Hierophant is also the card of the teacher. So it tells us that your person is learning and growing through the time that you have been in this separation place so that they can heal and reveal their feelings for you and show you through their words and actions the depth of their love for you. This is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is such a powerful card for love. It is about a fullness of emotion and a fullness of love. And it is about two people coming into long-term partnership. It's about a union with each other. Very much like this Hierophant. Your person sees you as the one who fulfills what they're looking for in terms of a partner. And you are the person of their dreams. Your person is thinking about a future with you. They're envisioning it. Because that's ultimately where they see this connection between the two of you going. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? This is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is someone who is very stable. Your person, through this period of transition and learning and growth that has been happening during this time of separation, is becoming someone who has greater stability around them. They're also, at the moment, very focused on their job, on their work, on their career, because they do want to have something to offer you when the two of you come to this place of reunion with each other. But the King of Pentacles is also someone who wants a long-term partner, very much like this Hierophant card. And it's interesting that they are opposing each other here in this reading. The King of Pentacles represents the Earth signs. So that is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So if you or your person have Sun, Moon, Rising in Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, this can be a validation that there are messages in this reading for you. The Hierophant is also Taurus, and the star is Aquarius. The King of Pentacles is someone who wants a partner who is loving, caring, giving, compassionate, kind, who supports their goals, dreams, and aspirations. But the King of Pentacles is someone who reciprocates that back to their partner. This tells us your person wants a relationship that's balanced and harmonious, and it will be in the future built on this foundation of love. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know? This is the Four of Wands. Okay, guys, the Four of Wands is fantastic. Because we have this with the Hierophant as well. The Hierophant's about long-term commitment. So is the Four of Wands. But the Four of Wands is the actual celebration of that relationship. So it could be a party to announce an engagement, an engagement party. Or it could be the actual ceremony itself. It could be the wedding. It could be the reception after the wedding. But also the Four of Wands is a card of reunion a card of union, long-term partnership, and a card of reunion. This is what is on your person's mind concerning you and this connection right now. There's so much opportunity here for you and your person to have a much more solid relationship moving forward. They're healing. They're growing. They have such deep love for you. They're becoming more stable in terms of their emotions and of being able to express their emotions with you. But as well, with this Four of Wands, it tells us your person sees long-term with you, and they see longevity in this connection moving forward. Let's see what else the Collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know? Wisdom. Interesting. Your person is gained so much wisdom during the time that you have been in this place of separation. 
They have a much greater understanding. They see things so much clearer now. And they are listening to their own wisdom, their own inner guidance that the universe is presenting to them. They also see you as someone who has a lot of wisdom within you. They appreciate the guidance, the love, the support, and the direction that you have given them in the past. But also it tells us that your person, as they rebuild this relationship with you, they will be wise. They will not allow themselves to fall into low vibration behaviors or energies as the two of you move forward to rebuild this relationship. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today? What else do we need to know? Faithful. Yes, your person will be faithful. I'll put this over here because that was about that other person thing. I feel that as your person returns and starts rebuilding this relationship, you will not have to worry about a third party or a karmic ever again. But it also tells us your person has so much faith in you for who you are. And they want to restore faith in this connection with you. Balance, harmony, very much the energy of this King of Pentacles. The Hierophant is also a card of faith. It tells us that you should have faith in your person and in this connection and in the universe but also in yourself. This relationship with your person, as they return to rebuild it, is going to be built on this stronger foundation of love, spiritual growth, respect, trust, and faith. And if your person has caused you to lose faith in them, they will do what it takes to show you through their actions, that you will be able to trust them moving forward because they will not want to break that faith and trust again. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? Grounded. That makes so much sense with these other cards, guys. This Hierophant is Taurus. The King of Pentacles is all the Earth signs. Your person is going to be more grounded with you moving forward because you also ground them. When we have that feeling of grounding, it gives us greater stability. We get out of our heads and into our hearts. Your person is going to be more grounded with you moving forward because they are more grounded within themselves now, especially because we have this Hierophant, which is Taurus, and this King of Pentacles, which is all of the Earth signs, which is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay, so this relationship moving forward is going to be so much better. No more all in their head. Your person is going to be more stable with greater stability in this connection and with you to build it to the place of this beautiful union with each other that comes with so much potential with the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, which tell us that there is this future here between you and your person. They see it. They think about it. They envision it. They just have to get to the place where they're ready to start talking and rebuilding this relationship with you. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Have a great day, everyone.